Okay, so today I'm going to talk about um, making a guitar effect enclosure out of wood. Back in 2009, or maybe late 2008, there was a guy who went by the name of Musopotamus at the DIYStompboxes.com forum, and um, he wanted to make some ADA flanger clones using um, some chips that are available um, versus the ones that are not available anymore, which is what the original ones used. And in this case, it's designed around an MN3007. Uh, all the rest of the chips are pretty much available. And um, so at the time, you know, this was before the reissues came out, and <clears throat> um, I actually was repairing. Um, and mo I was modifying someone's ADA flanger to have the Paul Gilbert mod and while I had that in my possession I used that to kind of uh, design this enclosure and it basically follows the same size and shape of the ADA flanger just without the little control fence I guess you'll call it which I don't particularly like but um, now I've seen some other people make these, and they got like these giant, like, you know, 8 by 8, 3 inch tall boxes, and they put it in there, and I just, I just thought, you know, that's, that's, I mean, it works, but to me that's really cheesy, so I thought I'm going to do something really cool and make one out of wood, so <clears throat> that's what I did. So... This has a covering. It's like this fake alligator skin stuff that I got at, at Joann's, the craft store. And you might notice that the controls are backwards from the uh, original ADAs. The, in, the enhance is on the left side instead of on the right. And so it's just mirrored. It's, a, it's mirrored. You'll see why in a minute. Now to get the bottom off, you have to take these screws out the sides and the bottom will come off. This is actually a metal bottom that I made from, uh, so I think it was like an antenna or something, a TV antenna that when they went to the digital format it wasn't any good so I just stole the bottom off and cut it down as needed. Uh, I got some aluminum, ang aluminum angle brackets cut them down and stuff and, and made it so that you know it would fit in here. And the enclosure itself is, is like quarter inch plywood. It's glued and stapled together. And you can't really see it, but under here, running under here, I've got a, like a three quarter inch square piece of wood for support there. And... Um, so this basically follows the same layout as the original ADA flanger, except that um, I have, normally this, this PCB would actually be flipped over like this, but I, did not, I didn't like that idea because the trim pots are too hard to get to. You have to like pull out the whole PCB and stuff to make adjustments, so I always thought that was a pain in the butt on the real ADAs. So basically, I just <clears throat> I just mirrored everything, and this this runs off of 18 volts DC. As you can see, I kind of have it. <clears throat> I have the PCB angled in here, and it it goes underneath the the jacks, and of course, underneath that is the the pots and the and the bypass switch. This is true bypass. <clears throat> and to to make sure I had like a fully shielded enclosure, I just used like this aluminum duct tape and lined the whole inside of this. Now I suppose I could have used conductive paint as well, but aluminum duct tape is really easy to get at like Lowe's or Home Depot. It's cheap. You can put it on there, and you know it's. It's effective. It works as as, an, as a Faraday cage, and uh, you know for shielding. So 
Um, <clears throat> not much else to say about this, other than uh, you might think, oh, you know, wood's not very strong, but I'll tell you this: this thing, this thing is really sturdy. I mean, I bet I could probably run this over with a car, and it wouldn't smash. And so, anyways, uh, at the end of the video here, I will put some pictures up of what it looked like during the construction of it, and you can kind of get an idea of, you know, how I went about it, what it looked like before and after, and... That's pretty much all I have to say about this, other than, <clears throat> you know, I like the option of using wood because you can create enclosures, custom enclosures that are exactly what you want. Like, you know, I can't go on any websites, you know, mauser.com or digikey or whatever, and, you know, get an enclosure like this. They don't exist. So... Your only option is to make one. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, you know, it, it works well. It's, you know, it follows the same form as the ADA, the original ADA flanger. Um, you know, I built this in 2009 before they came out with the, uh, the, the official reissues, so... At the time, you know, it was either you buy a vintage one and pay a bunch of money, you know, like off eBay for one, or or you make a clone. And uh, I thought just for fun I'd make the clone. Um, I thought it was a much too complex of a circuit um, for, for me. I, I was thinking that it was just, you know, it was beyond my level of ability, but... Um, you know, it looks, it might look a little intimidating, but, uh, you know, you go, if you go step by step and just do it in a, a logical, systematic fashion, you know, you can build this, just double check everything and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's in the realm of possibility. So anyways, hope you enjoyed my video here on the ADA Flanger clone. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.